Joining us now is Professor Paul Rogers from the University of Bradford. Good morning to you, Paul. Uh, Anthony Blinken talking about the, the two sides getting closer together. What hope do you have of peace now or even some form of a ceasefire? It is possible that we can get a short pause, uh, but frankly, I think it's pretty unlikely. Um, the rhetoric coming from the United States has certainly increased a lot. Uh, and they're basically, they're really telling Israel that it must uh, have some sort of ceasefire. But the United States has the capability uh, to tell Israel to do it and almost force it to, because Israel is so dependent on American military aid. The US is not prepared to do that at present, primarily for electoral reasons. And meanwhile, Netanyahu does think he can continue. So, yes, there's a small chance, but I think it's pretty remote. As things stand, uh, this war could last many months or even longer than that. Hamas has survived so far. It's proving much more resilient than the Israelis expected. And also, the Israelis are simultaneously finding that their reserve troops are just having to go back to their jobs at times. They need more troops to safeguard the border with the Lebanon. And there are problems on the West Bank as well. So, overall, uh, I think it's highly unlikely that the Israelis will go for a ceasefire of any length of time at the present time. It's really interesting you, you mentioned political reasons because last month the US vetoed a UN Security Council resolution calling for that ceasefire. I wonder how much of this actually is domestic politics at play in the United States, particularly the Democratic voter base saying, we want to see an end to this, this cannot continue. I think, I think you're spot on there. Biden basically has had a long-term historic support for Israel. It goes right back to his meeting with Gordon Mayer just before the Yom Kippur Ramadan War in 1973. So he has this personal commitment. But at the same time, the electoral situation in the United States is, is getting pretty dodgy for him. And essentially, on the Republican side, particularly with a lot of support from the Christian Zionists, who people tend to forget about, Israel has huge support there. So if Biden really puts very heavy pressure on Israel, even though many people say that is essential, it will cost him in electoral terms in the United States. And of course, we're almost into the full period of the campaigning for the November elections. At some stage, I think the pressure will get too high, even for Biden, and essentially the plug will be pulled. We have the extraordinary situation at the moment of the, Israel of the American Navy sending three large auxiliary ships the army sending five smaller ships to build this wharf in Gaza to get supplies in, so we get a lot more supplies in. But at the same time, the Americans are supplying all the bombs with which the Israelis are actually killing people in, in Gaza. It's an incredible situation, and one hopes at some stage that sense will prevail. But at the moment, it isn't prevailing on either side, and Israel is determined, if it can, to continue with the war in its present form. We are, though, seeing a, a shift in the, in the rhetoric, certainly a, yeah. a much tougher language coming out of, of America now, an increasing frustration uh, with the Israelis, as you say, not at the point of, of withholding arms. But that is something that is being uh, threatened by the UK, isn't it? David Cameron, uh, with some strong language uh, this week about Israel preventing aid getting into Gaza and saying that the UK could cut off Israeli arms supplies unless that aid will get through. Is that going to make any difference, that threat? It's curious. I mean, Britain normally is not a big player in the world. We like to think we are, but we're not. On this particular case, uh, the British probably do have more influence than they realise with Washington. Because if its closest allies start saying, we're going to have to change how we do things as far as Israel is concerned, that will have an impact. Uh, it depends very much on how far Cameron would go and how far the government would go. Uh, Britain has a very close relationship with Israel. It's supporting the war in all kinds of ways. RAF Akrotiri in Cyprus is a major hub for suppliers going into and personnel going into Israel. Uh, and the UK rarely does have this actual clout. It's not prepared to.